Two teams that looking to do different things on the final day of Ivy League football here in 2021. One team looking to claim its share of the Ivy title, while the other looks to play spoiler. In that backfield to the side of E.J. Perry. Takes a snap, fires over the middle. He's got an open man. And inside the 20-yard line go the Bears. That's Zach Targoff picking up the chunk yardage. I like what Brown's doing here, engineering a drive using those short passes you mentioned. The Handoff goes to Smith. Oh, and he's met, but he gets away from the tackler and goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Brown. Allen Smith on senior day for the Bears. Puts them on the board. Allen Smith just did not want to be denied. And, and credit the read option from Perry there. He sold it. Watch what Perry does. Works to the left. Smith goes up front. And then Dartmouth just can't bring him down. And credit Smith to back up off the tackle. He's standing there. He looks forward. He sees uh, that, that's opening up some of the other routes. Perry's going to take the snap. Rolls to his left. Fires into the end zone. Into the chest of his receiver. Touchdown, Brown. That's Graham Walker. And the Bears take the lead here early in the second quarter for Walker. Another touchdown catch for the sophomore. Solid block from Donovan Allen, the right tackle. Feels like something's going to break one way or the other. Perry the snap on third and seven to his left. Fires caught. That's Walker that breaks away. He gets inside down the sideline to the 18-yard line inside the 20. That's Graham Walker, another big play. Mr. Reliable. Boy, when E.J. Perry needs to pick up some yards and pick up a big play, Graham Walker, you look up clutch in the dictionary, that's the guy. That was Dale Chesson on the first down catch. He motions on this first down play. That's Howard with the throw, and it's, oh, it's picked off. It's picked off by the Bears. Intercepted. I believe that was Clayton Perrin. It was the senior with the pick and a big spot here in the second quarter. Well, you turn things around and you say, all right, we'll throw something Brown hasn't seen yet. A Nick Howard pass, and he airs it over the receiver. And Perrin playing the deep safety portion of it. They were double covered, Brown, on uh, Paxton Scott. The 36-yard field goal attempt. Kick is up on the way. And it's good. Offense try to keep it in their possession. Handoff, and that breaks up the middle. That's Allen Smith, ooh, spinning away from a tackler. Gets over the 50-yard line and into enemy territory. Nice run there by Allen Smith. Yeah, a lot of urgency out of Brown's offense right now, which you like to see given Smith running right up over the left guard, getting through, spinning through a hit, gaining a few extra yards to come to the FCS, which is highly competitive. Another first down there on fourth down. He's a competitor. <laughs> He is, he's, he's got that, that thing that you just cannot teach a quarterback to go out there and say, I need you to go out and make any throw. Perry, with an empty backfield, takes the shotgun snap over the middle, hits Hayes Sutton, that's gonna be a first down for the Bears. So the senior EJ Perry to the junior Hayes Sutton, they move the chains, and the Bears putting something together here on offense in many statistical categories in the passing game. Perry's gonna keep it himself and gets over the goal line for the touchdown. E.J. Perry using his legs and gets the Bears back on the scoreboard here with 9.40 to go in the football game. Hey, you like to see the offense moving the, moving the sticks and moving the ball, matriculating down the field, as, as, Herb, as, uh, as Hank Stram used to say. But, you know, these two teams, they're, they're competing through the end of this game. Faking the handoff, Wilcox again. He's gonna throw and into the chest of his receiver, touchdown! That's Hayes Sutton. Jake Wilcox comes in and throws a TD pass to put the Bears on the scoreboard again here in the fourth quarter. Hey, those of us from Massachusetts just watched that play and if you blurred your eyes, it looked like the MIAA state championship all over.